speaking of music, well, first off, we get a cool video package hyping up the icy title match. But speaking of music, all of a sudden, we just hear, boom, boom, it's time to play the game. Triple H music hits, and I go, wait, hold the phone. Why is Triple H coming out right now? And then I realize, oh, wait, I think I know what this is. But Triple H makes his way out to the ring. Huge reaction from the crowd. Paul uh, Adam Pierce is in the ring already, and he's got a podium with something covered on it. And I go, oh, I know what this is, new tag titles. So, Triple H comes out, and he says a couple of things along the lines of, like, this is a new era. It's funny, he says something about the Triple H era, and McAfee goes, he's terrori terrorizing, uh, you know, terrorizing. He, like, makes a terrorizing joke from back in the day. But he says um, that they have things here that they want to present, but we need to get the new Raw Tag Team Champions out to the ring. So this is both kind of like, I think they went too far with it, but funny all in the same, in the same breath. So our truth and Miz come out as the, as the Raw Tag Team Champions, and they get You Deserve It chants. The crowd chanted for truth, and then he told Triple H to hold on one second, and he jumps up and does the splits. Triple H is like, dang. He congratulates them on their moment at WrestleMania. He says that he's glad to see that truth got that moment. Triple H then said, it is a new era, and they need to represent the tag division appropriately. He announces that, excuse me, he announces that going forward, they will be recognized as the world tag team champions. Triple H then reveals brand new tag team titles, gold, on a black strap, and where it says world tag team champions, which I'm going to pull the uh, images up on the screen here, it's in red. So as we look at those belts right here, because we have these images because, well, you can already buy the replica belts on shop. You can already go to WWE shop and buy these belts. But as we look at these images here, these are the new World Tag Team Championships. So it's all gold. There's a little white behind the gold here. It's on a black strap. It's circular. There's burgundy. Behind the WWE logo in the in the globe, burgundy behind the text as well it says World Tag Team Champions. And then we also have this image here, just looking at it from the side. What would you call this? That's not a falcon. What what would you call that? Um, a griffin? I would, I would probably say griffin. Yeah. So they got a griffin on either side. There's a shield in the middle as well, like a um, a family crest shield emblem kind of deal. Looks really cool. I would say they're better than the titles they had. I wouldn't say I love them or anything, but I think they look good. What are your thoughts? The titles don't look bad at all. I feel like it's supposed to be like a modern version of like the belts from the 2000s. Right. And I feel like the SmackDown ones, it's going to be the exact same design, but except for the red, it's going to be blue, like SmackDown blue. So that's what I was thinking but in calling this the World Tag Team Championships, that means those are going to be the WWE Tag Team Championships. And do you really want them to be blue and red like the old tag titles and then be stuck on those brands to where if you... Because everyone hated when you drafted the tag team champions back to a separate brands, then all of a sudden you have to swap the belts because the red titles have to stay on the red brand and the blue titles have to stay on the blue brand. So it's like, do they go that route though? with the blue on the belt, and then be kind of stuck of, well, these are the blue belts, so they can only be on SmackDown, and these are the red belts, so they can only be on Raw. You know what I mean? I get it, yeah, but if you already made those belts red, you might as well make the other ones blue. Right, and I was thinking the same thing. So we'll wait until SmackDown and see what they do. So I assume... Yeah, I, 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 mean, I, I, I do I, like the belts, though. Yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. But I assume they do the same thing on SmackDown as well with the new SmackDown belts. I have seen some mixed feelings Same. about it though on twitter some Same. people said they didn't like it some people said they they liked it i mean they're not bad belts at all no i mean it does i will say the design though whenever they do these kind of belts with like sep separate brands it if the designs kind of get lazy if you really think about it so i think I know what you're getting at there, and I think we have to wait till Friday to see if the other belts look the exact same. Because there is a chance that they look different, and they're not just the same with a different color. There is that chance. 
Because if you remember back in the day, the WWE and the World Tag titles looked slightly different. 